I am the bending knee machine from uh, Blues Creek Guitars. Uh, when you open your box, this is what you're going to see. Your heating blanket, your slats. If you bought the complete bender, you're going to have a cutaway ram and a cutaway pattern. You're going to have your main frame with the springs, the call. This is the platen and you must be very careful. This is called a thrust bearing and fits in there. So we always send them with them taped, so be careful you don't lose that. The press screw, timer controller, and the base. In order to put this thing together, this goes together very quickly. You have four screws. They get attached to the bottom. Your press screw goes in here. Now as you see it starting to come through, you can take your platen with the thrust bearing, tighten that screw, put the waste call in, Attach it to the springs. You'll also notice if you just got the standard machine, there will be one hole here. That will be for the cutaway ramp. You're going to find one hole does not get a tube. So you're not short a tube. That will be your pinning point. You can see I've already knocked this together for the most part. That's going to get hammered in there. Then you put the pattern on top. You want to put them all together. Start your pattern. I usually start at the back. Your bottom down. And you'll see why that hole is open. Uh -huh. Bring this from the front. The pin goes through the slot, captures the hole, comes through the other hole, out into the slot. Put your waist call in. Put your slats into the machine. You put your wood in here. Your blanket will go into here. The hold downs, you can see the blanket is on top and naturally you're going to take it out of the plastic. Connect your springs. Then you will see the other videos that are out there. I don't have to go through the entire bending process. YouTube, Blues Creek Guitars, bending videos. You'll see everything you need to do. But this will get you started. And as you can see, this will just pull down. This will do likewise. Then you run your ram down. And that's how it operates. That's your timer controller. You'll plug this into here. You want to try to find, when you first start it up, throw it to full. Watch your temperature. You'll get a thermometer. Put it right underneath the blanket. Get it to about 220 degrees. You can start bending the lower bout. 270 the upper bout. 300 do the waist. Take it up to about 375 and then turn this to variable. You can start down here at L, but you'll probably be somewhere in here. Set it for about 220 to 250 degrees for the remainder of the 15 minutes, which you have to turn this pest. You'll hear it clicking. That was going to activate your switch to make you run. 
at the end of 15 minutes, this will turn off. If it does not turn off, this is such a safety design of this feature. If it doesn't work, let me know. We don't want you hurting yourself, burning your house down. We will take care of this timer at any time. So now you can see how it goes. The cutaway ram, you may not be able to see it well on the video, but this is offset. Sometimes you will have to put it in like this for your cutaway, or sometimes you may have to make it fit like that. Do a dry run with the cutaway pattern. It just attaches in through here. The front hold down will not be used for a cutaway. You'll use this instead, but it will be the same process. Lower bout, cutaway, waist. That's all you need to do, and you can see how quick it'll come together for you. Any questions, you're always welcome to email us. You can contact us through bluescreekguitars.com, tippy, T-I-P-P-I-E, at epics.net. And you can find our phone number on the website if you ever have any questions, and it will be on the sticker on uh, your machine. So, again, thank you for buying our product. And if you have any questions, comments, or complaints, feel free to contact me anytime. From Loose Creek Guitars, again, thank you.